Hey there everyone, welcome back. Please like this video, comment down below and click that subscribe button because this video is probably going to be censored and also the things that I'm going to be going through you have to definitely watch till the very end to understand everything. It's really important. So the YouTubers in the Spanish community actually brought this to my attention. Quick shout out to these five YouTubers, Sir Winko, Scruffy Flintson, Los Mages, La Jaina Blanca, and Manny Conquizo. They're the ones that actually contacted me and we spent hours talking about this and brought this to my attention and this is really serious. So I'm going to start at the beginning and I'm going to explain this as best as I can so everyone will understand. So what I was told and what I understand is there's these two YouTubers. One goes by Mordo and the other one goes by Randomware. And these two YouTubers were in a relationship. They were a couple. And what they would do is go on their YouTube channels and promote their Discord server for Ochangos. From what I understand is that they would actually share nasty, disgusting gore images as well as CP. I was also informed that Pollution Entertainment was a member of this Discord channel and frequently went on the site as well. Well, eventually Mordo and Randomware got into an argument, they got into a fight, they ended up breaking up, and Randomware actually ended up exposing Mordo in like a six hour video on his own YouTube channel. At that point, Mordo's channel got taken down and he went into hiding. It's awesome that Randomware exposed Mordo for the crimes that he was allegedly doing, but the thing is, is that Randomware was also committing these crimes with Mordo because they were in a relationship online from what I understand, and they were doing it all together on the Discord server. After Mordo's YouTube channel was taken down and the Foro Chango's Discord server was taken down and he went into hiding for fear of being arrested and charged for everything and being exposed, um, Randomware, from what I understand, now runs another Discord server called Movie Star. And on this Discord server that Randomware is the admin and he runs, supposedly, from what I understand, they're sharing CP and nasty, disgusting stuff. And there was a user that is on YouTube that goes by Horochan that ended up admitting on the Discord server to doing stuff with his uh, underage cousin. Horochan also mentioned another YouTuber that goes by Lewis, and this is their YouTube channel here, supposedly, that he is 18 or 19 years old, and he also engaged with uh, Horochan's 12-year-old cousin. And what's amazing is this Spanish YouTube community actually gathered all the evidence and they actually have all the evidence. So I'm going to provide it all to you to show you that this is actually the truth. First off, they have it all archived and linked and all that stuff. But anyways, here's a screenshot showing what Horochan ended up posting and it ends up translating into the fun in a question it says that I admit to having sexually abused my cousin. There I mentioned a case that I those two users knew about that when I was 16 years old. I also came to grab my cousin's breasts on several occasions. Judge for yourself. I have nothing to say. So he actually admits to sexually abusing and touching his cousin. And this is what's really crazy is they ended up screenshotting a bunch of stuff about Horo Chan admitting to his friend Louis, which is 18 or 19, abusing his 12 year old cousin. It states here, uh, as you may already know in my warning, I briefly mentioned the topic Louis or Louise, but it, who is Louis? Louis is a friend of Horo who is about 18, 19 who, years old and the one who has done worse things in the story since the guy had intercourse with Horo's cousin, which is about 12 years old. And there's actually screenshots of them talking about it on Discord or Horo Chan admitting to it. And they even have Horo Chan on Discord admitting it himself. In this video, it states that Horo confesses to his pedophilia and they have a group chat here with all the guys, as you can see here. And the translation I did it already, Lewis, and I am guilty already. What do they want to talk about? Because, and they talk about the situation between him, his cousin, and Lewis. That's right. So Horo Chan admits that him and Lewis are both guilty of doing these disgusting crimes to his underage minor cousin that was 12 at the time. Why aren't these people being arrested and charged? Well, for one, they live in different countries and nobody's reporting it. So I was contacted to make a video to bring awareness about this because no English YouTube speaker that from what they're telling me is talking about this. So all these YouTubers that I mentioned, Mordo, Randomware, Horo-chan, the Lewis guy, all the even pollution 
Revolution Entertainment. These all these guys need to be investigated and they need to be criminally charged. Especially Horochan and Lewis because he admits to it in like audio, he admits it into like, you know, like tweets. Like there's enough evidence right there to prosecute and charge him. And what I understand, the YouTuber Horo Chan, this is a photo of him. His name is Jorge Andres Vivas, I guess. And he's a Venezuelan who lives in Colombia, from what they understand as well. And according to Mordo's Wikipedia here, it states that his real name is Diego Gerardo Gray Molina or whatever, and he's from Venezuela. And we all know who Mateus is, Pollution Entertainment. He's from Chile. They have no information on Louis, but random where they actually have photos of him here, as you can see, and his Facebook with his real name, Ivan Solona, and it says random where in brackets, and he's from, uh, as you can see here, Argentina, Buenos Aires. So yeah, that's all the crazy information that I was told from the Spanish YouTube community that they've uncovered that these YouTubers are all engaging by using their YouTube channels, by posting their Discord servers so they can go on to Discord so they can end up sharing, you know, disgusting images of gore, animal abuse, as well as CP. And I went to the point that this guy ended up admitting to all this stuff, so he should definitely be investigated and charged. Heck, they should all be investigated and charged. They're using YouTube and Discord to create like this ring of like nastiness. And what's insane is no English YouTubers are actually speaking about this or reporting on it. So yeah, they reached out to me and I decided to take my time and make a video on it to, to inform everyone and bring awareness and hopefully other big YouTubers will actually realize this and actually start reporting on it. I'm definitely gonna take other big YouTubers in this like the Penguin Zero, The Quartering, as well as other people like some ordinary gamers we'll see if they report on this but yeah this is absolutely disgusting and it blows my mind that people are using youtube to promote discord servers so they can share this disgusting stuff toro chan is literally like chris chan so yeah i just ended up coming across this and i wanted to share this with all of you and bring awareness this is absolutely wrong disgusting youtube has to start cracking down on these youtubers completely give them like a permanent ban i don't know what else they can do go after them legally or criminally or civilly um as well as discord needs to start going and taking action because like not only they're creating their ring and doing what they want to do they're exposing other innocent people to this stuff that don't want to be exposed to it so hopefully by making this video, people will actually take action against these people. Knowing my luck, they'll just end up censoring and burying this video. Anyways, let me know your thoughts and opinions about this in the comments below. I think this is absolutely disgusting and they need to take action. But anyways, like this video, share it with your friends and family so they're aware. And click that subscribe button down below right there. It takes two seconds and it's free and it helps me out a lot. And I really, really do appreciate it. Thanks for watching everyone. Stay safe. God bless you all. Take care and peace out.